Varikra, Leviticus 10. And Nadav and Avihu, the sons of Aharon, took either of them his censer and put fire therein and put incense thereon and offered strange fire before Yahuwah, which he commanded them not. And there went out from, rather went out fire from Yahuwah and devoured them. And they died before Yahuwah. Then Moshe said unto El Aharan, This is it that Yahuwah spoke, saying, I will be sanctified in them that come nigh me, and before all the people I will be glorified. And Aharan held his peace. And Moshe called Mishael and Elit Safan, the sons of Uziel, the uncle of Aharan, and said unto them, Come near, carry your et brethren from before the sanctuary out of the camp. So they went near and carried them in their coats out of the camp, as Moshe had said. And Moshe said unto El Ahran, and unto El Azar, and unto It Amar, his sons, Uncover not your heads, neither rend your clothes, lest ye die, and lest wrath come upon all the people. But to let your brethren, the whole house of Yasharael, bewail at the burning which Yahuwah has kindled. And ye shall not go out from the door of the tabernacle of the assembly, lest ye die. For the anointing oil of Yahuwah is upon you. And they did according to the word of Moshe. And Yahuwah spoke unto El Aharan, saying, Do not drink wine nor strong drink, you nor your sons with you, when ye go into the tabernacle of the assembly, lest ye die. It shall be a statute forever throughout your generations and that ye may put difference between holy and unholy, and between unclean and clean, and that ye may teach at the children of Yasharael at all the statutes which Yahuwah has spoken unto them by the hand of Moshe. And Moshe spoke unto El Aharan, and unto El Azar, and unto Ithamar, his sons that were left, Take at the meat offering that remains of the offerings of Yahuwah made by fire, and eat it without leaven beside the altar, for it is most holy. And ye shall eat it in the holy place, because it is your due, and your son's due, of the sacrifices of Yahuwah made by fire. For so I am commanded. And at the wave breast and at heave shoulder shall ye eat in a clean place, you and your sons and your daughters with you, for they be your due and your sons' due, which are given out of the sacrifices of peace offerings of the children of Yashadael. The heave shoulder and the wave breast shall they bring with the offerings made by fire of the fat, to wave it for a wave offering before Yahuwah, and it shall be yours and your sons with you by a statute forever, as Yahuwah has commanded. And Moshe diligently sought at the goat of the sin offering, and behold, it was burnt. And he was angry with Ela Azar and Ithamar, the sons of Aharan, which were let alive, saying, Wherefore have ye not eaten at the sin offering in the holy place, seeing it is most holy, and Elohim has given it you to bear at the iniquity of the assembly, to make atonement for them before Yahuwah? Behold, at the blood of it was not brought in within the holy place. 
Ye should indeed have eaten it in the holy place, as I commanded. And Aharon said unto Moshe, Behold, this day have they offered at their sin offering, and at their burnt offering before Yahuwah, and such things have befallen me. And if I have had eaten the sin offering today, should it have been accepted in the sight of Yahuwah? And when Moshe heard that, he was content.